If you've seen these color cards on shoots everywhere and you're not really sure how they work and why they're essential to your editing workflow, let me show you. When shooting video, I use a color checker to make sure I don't have any color casts over my footage, especially when presenting a product, the colors just have to be accurate. Different cameras have different profiles and colors can vary between them as well. It also helps if you're struggling to correct natural skin tones or are working in an environment with ambient light that you cannot control. In addition to that, the colors will look slightly differently depending on your screen, so eyeballing colors can go really wrong and you'll end up spending way more time trying to fix it in post-production. So, how do they work? For what we're about to do, we're going to need these two pages, which are three lines of white, middle grey and black and the adjacent one, with this set of coloured and black and white patches. It has more. I will show you the other pages as well. We also have a, a grey card, which you can use to correct white balance in camera. We have more color patches, but we are going to focus on this first side. We could limit it to this side, but I just find it a bit easier working with a bigger target. If you want to know more about these in detail, let us know in the comments below. Once you've set up your scene, you shoot a quick clip with this in your shot and make sure the color checker is fully visible and without any glare. You can see when I turn this, it does have some reflection on here. We do not want that. So to avoid this, just to make sure, you can just turn it slightly, take a shot of that, and then you can pick the frame that works best for each step. If you're shooting people, make them hold it right in front of themselves. Their chest, their face, it doesn't matter. Just make sure it's close to their body and facing the camera. We want to work with the same lighting for the color checker as we are using for the person. So I'm using Premiere Pro to edit my videos, but the process should be similar for other editing programs as well, I believe. I've got a shot here from a product shoot I recently did, and I've put the color checker right in the center. The first thing I do here is correct the contrast and set up a good basis for further editing and color correction. To do that, I go into the Lumetri Scopes, which you can find if you go into Window and Lumetri Scopes. From here, I'm going to choose the Waveform Luma. If you see this in color, you can switch it to Luma by selecting it down here in the Waveform type. I will use an opacity mask and put it on the grayscale targets. If you go into Effect Controls and you see the little square and opacity mask, just pull that over the black, gray and white, and then go back into the Lumetri Scopes and you should see these three lines. You might see a faint fourth line, which is just from the grey in between those targets. You can completely ignore that. This is the contrast of your image. The last line should hit between 0 and 10 on the scale. The middle line is a mid-tone grey, which lies around 40, and the highest line should be around 90. As we can see here, it's a little bit off, so I'm going to go the Lumetri colour. I'm going to adjust the contrast in the colour wheels and match, and possibly in the curves. And we'll push the shadows, midtones, and highlights up or down until the lines end up roughly where they should be. I'm just going to pull down the midtones and just make sure that the shadows do not dip too low. I like to have them around 10. The highlights can go a bit further up. And if you see the limits of these wheels, you can go into the curves. You can adjust it in more detail. This ensures we don't have any clipped highlights and a balanced contrast in our video. The next step is correcting the white balance and I'm just going to go into the basic corrections and I'll just use the pipette to pick up and auto-correct it by clicking on the grey target in the middle. Once I've done that, I will move the mask over the first row of colour patches. These patches correspond to the colours on our vector scope and should ideally be matching. To get to the vector scope, you go back into your Lumetri scopes, you click on vector scope YUV and you close the waveform. I will reapply the mask. As you can see, some of these lines are a bit off and this happens most of the time, but with the color checker, you have a guideline to make sure you're getting the right colors in the end product. To make it easier, I'll just go up here to basic correction and I'm going to pump the saturation up as far as it can go. And then we will go into curves. I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger and we're going to set control points on this thicker line. We'll do the same in hue versus hue. And that will be the first thing we correct as well. We will have to make sure our colors are not leaning towards a different color. We can slide the point up and down to go in each direction and we just want it to stop so it's pointing directly at these dots. 
I have to adjust my cyan a little bit. My blue is just a tiny bit off. Magenta is quite off. And the red needs some adjustment as well. Once they're pointing directly at the corresponding colors, we'll just take the saturation back to 100 and go back into the curves and adjust the saturation. We want this line to be roughly halfway towards the colors. So I'm going to add a little bit more green. I'm going to add a lot more cyan. The blue is fine. I'm going to add a little bit more magenta. The red is way too saturated, so I'm going to tone that down quite a bit. I'm going to push the magenta just back up a little bit. Yellow is roughly fine. Maybe a little bit more in the green. That's it for those colors. Now we're just going to make a last check that if you have any skin tones in the video, you can move the mask further down. This should usually be all right if we've gone through all the previous steps, but we'll make sure anyway, those are your skin tones. Check the vector scope and you should see them all in one line in that angle. And then once we're done, we'll just remove the opacity mask. And if we compare the before and after, we can see there was a slight blue color cast and some of the colors of the patches look off. Now we have a baseline with correct colors and you can leave it here if you wanted just that or you can continue to edit them however you want. This is roughly what my end result looked like. I adjusted the saturation a bit more, I brought out the details in the shadows and I gave a little bit more saturation to the colored gels in the front of the image. Let us know if this tutorial was helpful for you. Drop us any questions you have in the comments below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more photography and videography content.